Tonight is the much-anticipated debut of soccer superstar Lionel Messi. He's set to play his first game with Inter Miami tonight at 8 o'clock. Tickets sold out even after prices skyrocketed 500%. WPBF 25 Sports Director Shane Wright and Yanni Caracas are live in Fort Lauderdale with a preview of the soccer legend's debut. Hi, guys. Hey, Felicia and Tiffany, I wish you guys were here because you could really feel the buzz as we're driving up. We're, we're hours before the game and you just see fans walking in, messy jerseys everywhere. They consider him, a lot of people consider him the greatest of all time. He's going to make his debut here tonight uh, with Inter Miami. Yeah, 8 o'clock and the tailgating has already begun. And really, this is months in the making. The internet rumors began months ago and many soccer fans here in South Florida are saying maybe, hopefully this could happen. Yeah. It's come to fruition this week. He was unveiled on Sunday. He practiced this week, and tonight he'll be on the pitch for the first time. And you were there on Sunday. Yeah. It rained a little bit, but thousands, hundreds of thousands maybe, <laughs> uh, what it felt like, packed uh, Dry Pink Stadium this past Sunday for Messi's introduction. Messi and Sergio Busquets, as a matter of fact, both coming over from Europe to join Inter Miami, which has completely changed the face of soccer here in South Florida, Inter Miami, in just his fifth year of existence suddenly becoming maybe the most interesting team, Yanni, in Major League Soccer because of Messi. No doubt about it. And Messi had only a few days to practice with his new team, so he's not expected to start tonight, but his teammates say they can't be any more excited to have him on the field. It's been great. Um, he's had a great attitude, um, you know, very positive, talks to everybody. Um, you know, it's uh, nobody really know, knew what to expect, but he's been a... Uh, He's been an absolute joy to work with so far, so that's that's been good. Just, you know, it feels like the city's got a bit of a buzz to it now. People are really excited, which is nice to see. And tickets for this game sold out with over 20,000 expected to pack the stadium tonight here at Drive Pink Stadium. You know how it is, Yanni, when a new player, a big name player comes to a town, it impacts the whole community. Mm -hmm. The economic impact is huge. As a matter of fact, Suji Nam spoke with an Argentine restaurant who they say that they can't wait for him to debut tonight. Los Olivos Bistro is a family-owned restaurant here in Boca Raton that opened in 2020. The owners tell me words can't describe how excited they are that Messi is so close to home. Fresh bread. It's almost as if you're in Argentina. The aroma of the Argentinian and Mediterranean delicacies, the warm smile of the staff, all bringing a taste of Buenos Aires to your table. We have empanadas, we have milanesa, uh, we have paella from Spain, uh, we made home, uh, homemade pasta. Lissandra Patino and his wife own this restaurant in Boca Raton. They tell me they are so excited Lionel Messi is playing for Inter Miami this season. I can't explain to you when, what I have in my heart with him. And some Messi fans also swung by the restaurant to grab a bite. He's like the greatest player of all time. It's so cool that being from this area we can you know, have Messi playing right, right, outside our, uh, right outside our door. It's quite a blessing. Patino says he is looking forward to watching Messi's first game in Miami Friday night. Messi is, is, is everything for all the Argentinian people. We love him. And with Messi now in South Florida, the owners hope the star soccer athlete can swing by their restaurant so they can bring him the comforting taste of home. Well, we cross the finger. In Boca Raton, Suji Nam, WPBF 25 News. Oh man, that food looks sounded good. good. It sounded I'm getting good. hungry out here at this dinner hour. And obviously, Leo Messi will need somewhere to live. Mm -hmm. As we always document, it's very expensive to live in Palm Beach County nowadays. But when you make 50 to 60 million a year, I think you can afford it, right? Yeah, he's a, if he does pick Palm Beach County, he's going to join a lot of other sports stars that live in our county up in uh, Palm Beach County. As a matter of fact, uh, Josie Carbonari in Delray Beach with that part of the story. Well, it's certainly exciting news for Messi fans and nothing is finalized just yet, but we did confirm that a luxury real estate agent is working with Messi to find homes in Western Boca Raton and Delray Beach. Some of the things he's looking for specifically more privacy and land with security top of mind. That's according to his real estate agent, Sonata Asdem, who's based out of Palm Beach County. 36-year-old Lionel Messi, the well-known Argentinian soccer player, just recently signed to play for Inter Miami CF. 
He previously led Argentina to the World Cup title in 2022. To get away from some of the madness in Miami, his realtor tells us while she cannot share specific details due to confidentiality, she says she can confirm she offered Messi various options of homes both on and off the market in gated communities in both Western Boca Raton as well as Delray Beach. As far as when he plans to move, that's being kept under wraps right now. And Messi will play his first home game in Miami this evening. Reporting from Delray Beach, I'm Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News. And we know he's already found his local Publix. Yeah, that's right. He was seen in the Publix, people taking pictures with him. Uh, coming up at 6, we're going to have more from Fort Lauderdale here. We're also going to hear from David Beckham, part owner of Inter Miami, about what his first couple days have been like here for Lionel Messi. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. Back to you all. I hope he does find his way yeah. to that bistro because that food oh, looks so good. good. We're all talking about it here in the studio. I was oh. like, man, I know. sounds delicious. <laughs> and, of course, everybody wants to know, well, what's the weather going to be like for the big Game debut tonight? tonight?